Hi guys, this is Alex. Uh, thank you for popping into my shade today. Uh, I'm going to get right into it. Today is uh, Tuesday, November the 20th. Uh, I'm using a Rockwell 2C uh, with a number three plate on the bottom there. You can see that. This has a number one and then a number three plate. Just flip it over, it goes to one. Flip it over, you go to three. Excellent. I've got a feather blade in there. This is the blade we're using. I've used this uh, feather blade uh, twice before, so this will be the third run on it. Today we're using the Taylor's uh, Old Bond Street Lime Zest Shaving Cream. It's a very soft soap. Let me show you. Haven't used it too much. Has a very light citrus smell, but to me it's not very strong. But then again, that could be me because, you know, there's stuff I've got going on with myself. But anyway, it's a very comfortable cr uh, shaving cream. All right. Now, today we're going to be using our Badger uh, Silver Tip from Yaki. It's a, uh, can you see that? It's a 24, hang on, there it is. It's a 24 Yaki brush. It's called the Mountain Lake or Lake Mountain. It's a badger, real badger, and they call it a silver tip. It's supposed to be a pretty good brush, but got it. There. You get these the Yakis at very reasonable prices. So, but I mean, don't be afraid to get one of these. These are excellent brushes. Uncle L uses these too, and he's got quite an arsenal. Uh, let's see. Today, we've got the Parasso. It's already on there. This is the menthol and eucalyptus one. For you guys that don't know, we're going to go something a little old school today. For the aftershave, this is called Stefan's Bay Rum Fragrant Skin Toner for face and your body. Woo! I'll have to shave my whole body, I guess. Okay. And there's that for that. But what I've done, I didn't like that big bottle, so I just put the stuff in a smaller bottle. I'll be uh, labeling it and uh, put the label on to make sure I remember what it is. But that's much easier to use this way. It's got a little flip cap on it. Works better. And last but not least, our favorite little friend, Mr. Nivea. How you like that, guys? Okay. Can't finish a shave without Nivea. Okay, now we've got Everything over here, I'm going to try not to bend away from you guys so much anymore. Got our alum rock. Uh, oh, <laughs> guess what? I'm going to take this little badger brush and put it in some warm water right now and let her soak in there because I didn't do it yet. Just give it a couple of minutes. And then I wanted to show you guys my next find from the thrift store. Look at this one. Now, you're not going to believe this one. Look at this. It's even got a little thing here for your finger. You, I guess to hold it like that or like that. But uh, it's good because you could put your finger like this and hold it like that. And look how big it is. The brush fits in there perfect, and it's heavy. And guess how much people are selling it for on eBay? They're selling it for $52. Not all of them. Some are 5 some are 10 Some people are getting $52. Godiva, I guess that's what it's about. Very heavy. You know what? I'm going to put some hot water in. Well, I'm going to get it nice and hot. That way, at least my lather will be kind of warm. I had quite an adventure today. Quite an adventure. I got to tell you about it because it was aggravating as can be. We all know that Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Well, my friend, that's when all the crazy people come out. Very thankful that I'm home alive. Uh, my wife and I went to Costco to go do a little finishing up on her shopping. Started out great. Got to Costco. Got bad real fast. There's nothing but crazy people driving and trying to park their cars. They're fighting for parking spots. They're n n and I'm just looking. I'm trying to stay out of their way, and I'm going all over the place. 
it was a madhouse. I mean, madhouse. I never got off the car. I stayed in the car. When I finally did find parking, I thought I was going to have to get out and do hand-to-hand -hand combat the way they were doing about their parking spot. People were hollering and screaming and doing and doing and jumping out of their cars. I backed up and said, see you later. I went and parked the car wherever I could find the park. I didn't care. I told the wife, just call me. I'll drop her off. I said, just call me and I'll pick you up. I just stayed in the car, locked my doors, and held on for dear life. Matter of fact, my quote today, I thought about this quote. What well, happened to me today, that's why I'm using this quote. And you guys, <laughs> I'm going to tell you the quote right now. I don't want to wait. I'm aggravated. Listen to this. And I've said this one before, but when I said it, so what happened today just brought it right back to my brain because people were nuts. Never approach a bull from the front. Never approach a horse from the rear. And never, ever approach an idiot from any direction. Just stand back and let him go. That's my little quote for you guys today. Be careful out there. Watch yourself. And God bless you. Have a safe Thanksgiving. Anyways, my bowl is nice and warm now. I took that little time to heat up our little coffee cup. My brush is nice and dripping. And I'll just put that there. And I'll dump this water out. Sorry for looking at the bottom of my hair again. And now we're going to take a little scoop out. With my scooper, I'm going to take a little more out than normal. I got to put my finger in there because it won't come out. Okay. Now I got to rinse it off. I didn't want to take the time to rinse it off, but I did anyway. Okay, that's all rinsed off. I'll put that away later. Let me close my soap. Again, this is Taylor's Old Bond Street. You can't get any better. It's fabulous stuff. So now what I'm going to do, I have the soap in the little coffee cup mug, and I'm going to smear it all around. Don't ever go to Costco on holidays. A warning. This is a warning. Not people out there. Nuts. 100% nuts. Okay. Taking our brush. Hang on. Let me do this. Hope I don't drop my little cup. Okay. My hands are all slicky now. But better. I better get some water in there. Okay. I got water in there now. Now we're mixing up, boys. But anyway, it was really crazy today. I was never, ever do that again. Um, I don't think my wife should go either. I think we should give up Thanksgiving. Yep, I'll just be thankful that we made it out of there alive. But the wife went in there, you know. She's like, I know how to do this. And she did. But I'm not used to shopping. I don't think most men are used to shopping. I think guys just get in there, go get that one thing, and get out. Don't look. Don't shop. My wife's got to touch everything. She's got to touch. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, this is good. Then she puts a doll and goes away. Why waste time doing that? I don't get it. She'll fill up her basket with stuff. Then by the time we get to the checkout, it's all gone again. Because she throws it out. That already did. I don't need that. We wasted a half an hour. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to make a nice, heavy, thick lather here. I'm going to put some more water in there. I hope everybody's have, going to have a great, great and happy Thanksgiving. Don't talk politics. Matter of fact, don't even talk. Just sit <laughs> there and look at each other. <laughs> that might be the best. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, we never talk politics. Never, ever. 
in our family. At any, my father didn't talk politics. We would eat. That's all we did. We eat. Hungarian people. We eat. I know I'm a Hungarian with a name like Williams. Well, it wasn't Williams always. It was a nice Hungarian last name. It all ended with Vich on the end. But that was before I was born. My grandfather came over here. Either he changed it or the guy that uh, brought him over the border over there, whenever he came uh, 100 years ago, gave him the name Williams, I think, because I don't think he could spell our last name. But anyways, oh, look at this. You know what? I'm going to put just a little more water, and we're going to go to town here, boys. Anyways, I, when, I, when I went through today, that little quote came into my mind. These people are all idiots. They're crazy. Now, I'd like you to take a look at this. Look at that. How you like that? You like that? I like it. Okay, I've got to breed a couple breeds. A couple breeds. A couple breeds. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm tired. It's 15 to 7 right now. My wife and I have been shopping <laughs> in the car. I don't know how she does it. All I do is drive her. But it's just so draining. I guess I'm getting old. I can't do it no more. Okay, I'm sorry I'm talking so much. All right, oh, wow, that feels good. This is the lime zest. Let's get back to business. This is the lime zest. Look at that. With the badger brush. Shout out to my friends out there. Uncle L, Stephen out there, Mr. Marine Man. <laughs> Thanks for those pictures. I thought that was your den with all the machine guns and everything. I said, Jesus Christ, this guy's ready for war. But he told me it wasn't his. He just took a picture off the internet. But that was pretty funny. Anyways, thank you, Stephen, for making me laugh. And, oh, look at that. I dropped something on my shirt. A nice brand new shirt. I got it good. Now, I, you're probably going to hear the microphone going. Okay. Wow, look at all this soap. You know what? I don't need any more soap. I just got enough here. Let me get my hands all done here. I'm going to put the brush in that cup. And then I'm going to wipe my fingers. And now, I am a... <laughs> I sound like a guy disarming a bomb. Now, I am putting the razor in the right hand, and I'm going to cut the blue wire. <laughs> you know what? I'm a little flippy tonight. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm just having fun. This is just having fun, boys. Okay, got some stuff all over me again. Okay, let's do this. Let me get this off my mirror. Put that there. I'm all finished with that. Put my light on. I'm good there. Okay, we're starting on the south side. Straight down. Can you see that, boys? Oh, and my little Italian friend, Donato. I think it was Donato. Hello, Mr. Donato from Italy. Thank you for getting back to me. Oh, and I talked to another guy today in Africa, South Africa. He said he liked my shave. How you like that? South Africa. I told him, you know Gary Player? Because... Because Gary Player lives, he lives in South Africa. Gary Player is a golfer. For you younger guys that don't know. You know, it's funny. I've gotten into this age, now I'm 77. And you see the different culture in the younger people. A couple of years ago, I walked, I walked into a, a shop to get uh, some music, you know, like a, in those days, it was like CDs and whatever you call them. 
And I asked the guy, uh, say, uh, you got any Dean Martin? He says, Dean who? <laughs> I said, thanks a lot. I walked out. <laughs> I had enough. Young guy didn't know. Working in a music shop. But they don't have that no more. Now you just go buy them online or push a button. Okay, let's do the north side now. The feather blade is doing a job. This is the third time I'm using it. I know I said it before, but that's the only way I can fill up the time by talking, say something. Oh, I have 289 subscribers. One more and I got 290. And then after that is 300, 10 more. So snap to it. Come on, boy. Let's do it. Come on. I got all day. <laughs> okay. Just playing with you, boys. That's when I can't talk when I'm doing this. Nobody says I talk too much. Not on the video. In real life, every day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My kid is godfather, and I were golfing. That was just years ago. I guess I talked a lot to him because I kept on telling him how to golf, how to do this, pick up that, watch out for this, swing like this. We got through golfing, right? He's in the cart. He's putting his bag out of the cart. He says, you know what? I said, what? Your wife is going to go straight to heaven when she dies. I said, what? Yeah, because she's living in hell right now with you. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm in a crazy mood today. <laughs> Alrighty. Weather here in uh, Northern California, 30 miles east of San Francisco, is clear today. A little cold, like about 60, 70 degrees. That's cold for us. Uh, and it rained last couple of days of rain. Kind of heavy drizzle. Okay. Where's my blade? Oh, here it is. Hold it. Gotta get the Allen boys. Okay. I'm sorry I am so slow today. But that shopping just knocked me for a loop. Okay, let's go. We're going across, gentlemen. Oh, hi, Gary, out there. Gary Hopper Rocks. I can't figure out your name. Gary Hopper Rocks in Canada. How are you doing, my buddy? Saw your shave today. You did a good job. You did a good job. No blood. I like that no blood business. Okay, we're going to do this side now. This is the north side. We're cutting across. Across the grain, gentlemen. Okay, one more and we're out of here. Look at this leather. Just by putting that little extra I put. Look at that. Holy mackerel. You can eat that like ice cream. I wonder how that would taste. 
Hmm. Okay, boys. Here we go. This is the third one and the last one. We're just doing the cheeks. Everything else came out good. I don't see any blood. Put that away. Warm up my blade. And we're going up. The blade's still cutting like crazy. Third time. I saw on YouTube one guy, uh, uh, he kept it in the wrapper and he marked it like 40 times on it. God, he used his blade 40 times? I'm thinking six, seven times might be the, the balls, but 40 times? Oh, Gary, that's, I'm glad you're marking your, your uh, razor blades now. Now you know what's going on. Glad you took my advice. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's it. Gentlemen, that's the third pass. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. All wet and ready to dry off. Well, I didn't see any blood, so I guess we got away with no blood today. Thank goodness. That's why it's kind of good to use a white towel. See if you have any blood. And it looks pretty clean. Okay. We're done there. Feels very good. Very smooth. Great ladder. I loved it. Our ladder. The Lime Zest Shaving Cream from Taylor's. Excellent. You guys want some? It'll be in the description. Everything I'm using today will be in the description. Our uh, <clears throat> Rockwell 2C with the feather blade in there. This is the third use of that blade, and it shaved unbelievable course. One, one, one hell of a shave. Let's not forget our little Badger Silver Tip Yaki 24. Millimeter, not really nice grip on that. Really nice. This is a good. I like this brush very much. I might get me some other. Maybe I'll get me a because I like the grip so much. I might get me a a, a bores in this, and I might get me also a um, synthetic. Get me a synthetic because I like the grip so much. Okay, we're good there. I already told you guys about my parasol that I had pre-shave on there. Very good, guys. Don't forget, now we're going to be using this stuff as our aftershave uh, fragrant skin toner for your face and your body. It's a body rub too. Okay, but we're going to be using it out of my little bottle because I don't like using a big bottle. Okay. Oh, wow, this smelled like I just walked into the old-fashioned barbershop. Oh, wow, that smells good. All you need now is a hot towel on your face and sit back in that chair, and that's it. Wow, that's great. You could buy this for 10 bucks. I think it's 10 bucks at uh, Pastor's. I'll put that in the, in the description. For 10 bucks, you get that big bottle. How big is that bottle? That bottle is 15 ounces. Okay, here comes the Nivea. Feels great. Well, 
that's our shave for tonight, uh, Tuesday, November the 20th. I thank you guys very much. Please subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell so I can notify you next time we have this little get-together. And uh, tell your friends about us. And you over there in Italy, Mr. Donato, tell everybody from Italy to look at my show because I want people from Italy to look at me. And I'll tell the boys here, look at you. How about that? That's good. One. Okay, there. That was just fun. Okay, guys, that's our shave. Thank you so much. God bless each and every one of you. And God bless America. Alex, I'm out.